Welcome everyone to another episode of Let's Play Mario Golf. I am the Green Scorpion, and in the last episode, we tackled the Shy Guy International. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing with the Yoshi Championship. Uh, forgive me for kind of being staggered with these episodes, guys. I mean, I, I know it's a Let's Play, and I know I should like be uploading these regularly, but... Yeah, it's it's been kind of like weird lately. My schedule's been... My schedule's pretty much been messed up throughout the past few past few weeks, uh, past like month or so due to school and everything. But finally got done with school for the summer, so I'm gonna have a lot more time to do this. I will try to do this more often, but I'm not gonna make any promises because I'm sort of flaky with this kind of thing. Anyway, we're wasting time. On to the Yoshi Championship. So I really like this course. I um pretty much think it's really well designed. The ambience is nice, music's nice, and if you listen closely, you can actually hear uh, Donkey Kong in the background. Like, if you listen to the background music, anyway. But um, let's say we get to on get onto the first question. Clayton Rios asks, "What is your opinion on Dead Rising 2 and Off the Record?" Um, I like both of those games, honestly. Like, I'm I'm actually a fan of the Dead Rising series. I think it's a really really well done. I was a fan of the first game. I was a fan of Dead Rising 2. Dead Rising 2, I think, really improved on the formula of Dead Rising, especially with being able to use uh, duct tape to uh, create new weapons. I thought that was very, very ingenious. I like Chuck Green as a character, not as much as Frank West, but um, yeah, both have their both have their things that are really, really well done about them. And that's going in the bunker. Dang it. Uh, okay, but anyway. Um, I like Chuck Green, but I like Frank West a little more, which is why, which is kind of the reason why I enjoyed Off the Record a little bit more. But overall, I think both games are really good, and that's did that. Ah, oh, so close. But anyway, that's pretty much my take on it. And if if I can share a little thing about Dead Rising 2 Off the Record, um, that that boss fight where you actually had to fight Chuck Green, like I like how Off the Record is sort of like this what if scenario, you know what I mean? But that moment, like, where you actually have to fight Ch Chuck Green, and he's, well, like, one of the psychopaths, I was like, oh, jeez, things just got real. Like, that, that was pretty heavy stuff, honestly, and I, th I thought it was really well done, but man, I felt bad for Chuck. Like, seriously. Nice shot. There we go. But, yeah, overall, Dead Rising, I really, really enjoy the the entire series and I haven't gotten the chance to check out uh, Dead Rising uh, 3 for 3 yet. I heard it's really good though and so I'm really looking forward to it. This I'm going to make a I'm going to have to make a really powerful sh powerful shot but wait, let me check something. Okay, that's not OB, but this is a risky move. Um but I'm going to try it. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Anyway, let's move on to the next question. Swordsman99 asks, Do you really think Kingdom Hearts is overrated? A lot of people are going to uh, be mad at me for saying this. Yes, I do think it's overrated, honestly. I just... Um... I'm not saying that the Kingdom Hearts series is bad. Don't get me wrong, it's actually a good series, but... Jeez, people praise it way too much. It's really not that... G g oh my gosh! That was such a good shot. Oh well. Yeah, I would have liked it to go in, but anyway. Okay, Kingdom Hearts, overrated. Yes, in my opinion, it is. Because... Honestly, I'm not a fan of the characters. I don't really like Sora that much. I don't like Riku that much. I don't like Kairi that much. And overall, it just... It kind of felt like a mess, if I'm going to be honest with you. Like, the meshing of... The meshing of, like, uh... Disney and Final Fantasy I thought was clever and all that and don't get me wrong. I thought it was really really good, but um, How do I put this? Oh jeez. Um, do I really want to putt this? Now nah, I'm gonna try it um, I'm gonna have to go full power because I'm in the rough Yeah, that was a bad idea Oh well, I'll yeah, I'll be able to get a birdie on this one. No, par, par. Um... Yep, there it is. Anyway, like... Overall, like, I don't get why people... 
think that the Kingdom Hearts has like this compelling story and whatnot because honestly it really doesn't. It's just really, really convoluted. Um, there are only really, there are only really two games that I legitimately enjoy, uh, from, um, yeah, like, that I legitimately enjoy from the Kingdom Hearts series, and that was Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Those two games I really, really enjoy. Like, I think they're, I think they're both really well done, um, but mostly, like, my favorite Kingdom Hearts game currently is Birth by Sleep. Because I thought it was I thought it was really well done. The story was like the story was like relatively simple to follow for the most part. And that's saying something for Kingdom Hearts. And I really, really like the characters. I like Terra, I liked Aqua. Not as much as the others, but you know. And I like Ventus. Like, I felt like I really, really had a reason to care for these characters, and I like that. Overall though, like I think Kingdom Hearts is deserving of its reputation. Does it get overhyped? Yes. That That's my take on it. Alright, let's move on to the next question. The Ivory Dingo asks, What is your favorite with lyrics video by Brentlefloss? Whew, that's a good question actually because I really, really like Brentlefloss a lot. Um, if I had to choose my favorite one, probably the one that gave me the most nostalgia, and that would be, um... Uh, Super Mario, uh, oh man, if only I didn't go to the side. That would be, uh, Super Mario Land with lyrics. I thought, like, that just brought me back to my childhood because, um, Super Mario Land was one of the most nostalgic games in my life. Like, it was one of the first video games I've ever played. And to, and to hear Brentlefloss put music to it and have it be, like, sort of this acapella type thing and, uh, doing it with, like, a partner, no less. I thought that video was extremely well done, and in my opinion, is like his best, his best work. Um, with Super Mario 3D World, and um, what's it called? Th Super Mario 3D World, and um, hmm, what's another really, really good one? Um, Legend of Zelda. That that's one. That's some things I could not think of the top of my head. But honestly, like his Super Mario videos, I think are really, really good and really well done. Overall, though, Super Mario Land, definitely my favorite by Breath of Floss, and I watched that, like, I have that downloaded on my, uh, music player. Ah, dang it. I'm, I'm taking too many risks with these shots, but I should be able to make this. Can I make an approach shot? Yes, I can. Um, yeah, I, I, I realized that I didn't use these, and I should, and I should have been using them. Um, like there? Ooh, too powerful. But, no, that's a good shot. Alright, so, let's move on to the next question. Makaya Cole asks, What do you think of the Wii U so far, along with the games announced for the system? I'm gonna be honest right now, as much as I love Nintendo, and believe me, I love Nintendo a lot, they really, really need to step up their game, because they are losing the market right now with the Wii U. Um, I heard a lot of, uh... Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. I heard, like, I re I've been reading a lot of the, uh, news posts and, like, seeing a lot of videos saying that Nintendo's kind of, like, failing right now in terms of the market, and I can see why, because, honestly, they could be, they could definitely be doing better. Um, this is gonna be a risky shot. Um, especially with the wind, um, do I want to take a power shot on this? I think I'm gonna take a power shot on this, because I want to use an iron. Um... The Wii U, like, I still have faith in the Wii U, because Super Smash Bros. is coming out soon, as well as a bunch of other games that I really, really want to want to play. Wow, I should have gone stronger. I, sh I should have. Oh, well. Um, but, um, yeah, um, like, Bayonetta 2, Wonderful 101, Super Mario 3D World, um, Super Smash Bros. Uh, 4, and all that jazz. Uh, Pikmin 3, all those games I really, really want to play, and I, I want to give them a shot. I just don't have the money to buy a Wii U yet, and I really, really want one right now. Oh, if only that was a little stronger, but that's alright. This this game has been nothing but par so far. <laughs> um, I want to, I don't want to mess this up. There we go. Nice par. Um, but yeah, I, I heard that Nintendo so far is like, right now is uh, currently working on a new console or something like that. 
And whatever that may be, like, I, I just hope it's the right decision. I, I do hope that the Wii U gets better once Smash Brothers comes around, but right now I'm still a little bit iffy. I really want to get a Wii U. Like, I'm sold on it. I want to get it. I just don't have the money for it. Yeah, <sighs> first world problems, huh? Anyway, let me take this shot before I get on to the next question, and boom! Nice job. Oh, don't 